Child's Pose, also known as Balasana in yoga, is a restorative yoga pose that offers several benefits. Wait until the end of the video to find out how Child Pose can help with stress and relaxation. At the end, we will also discuss how to do Child's Pose with specific instructions. Before we jump into this amazing exercise, subscribe to our channel for more information on health and wellness. Number 1. Child's Pose may alleviate back pain. The gentle stretch and release of tension in the spine can provide relief for individuals experiencing mild back pain. Child's pose involves a forward bend where the practitioner sits back on the heels, extends the arms forward and lowers the torso toward the floor. This position creates a gentle stretch along the entire length of the spine, particularly focusing on the lumbar, lower back region. The posture allows the spine to decompress and the lower back muscles to release tension. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals who experience tightness or discomfort in the lower back. Mild traction for the spine. The elongation of the spine in child's pose can create a mild traction effect. This traction helps in creating space between the vertebrae, which may relieve compression and pressure on the intervertebral discs. Relaxation of muscles. Child's pose is a restorative and relaxing posture. The position encourages the muscles along the back to relax, promoting a sense of ease and reducing muscular tension. Neutral position for the spine. The rounded back position in child's pose can provide a neutral alignment for the spine, allowing it to rest in a position that is often more comfortable for individuals experiencing back pain. Promotion of diaphragmatic breathing. The pose is often practiced with an emphasis on deep diaphragmatic breathing. This type of breathing can help activate the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting relaxation and reducing stress, which may contribute to back pain. Modification for comfort. Child's pose is a versatile pose that can be modified to suit individual comfort levels. For example, using props like a bolster or blanket can provide additional support and make the pose more accessible. Incorporation into a stretching routine. Child's pose can be included in a stretching routine aimed at promoting flexibility and relieving tension in various areas of the body, including the back. Number two, child's pose provides a gentle stretch for the spine. This pose involves sitting back on your heels with your arms extended forward and your forehead resting on the floor it gently stretches the spine, relieving compression and promoting flexibility. Child's pose, Balasana, is a yoga pose that can have a positive influence on spinal flexibility through its specific mechanics and the way it encourages stretching and lengthening of the spine. Here's how child's pose influences spinal flexibility. Forward bending action. Child's pose is a forward bend where the practitioner sits back on their heels and extends their arms forward, lowering the torso toward the floor. The forward bending action creates a gentle stretch along the entire length of the spine, from the cervical, neck region, to the lumbar, lower back region. Segmental flexion. Child's pose allows for segmental flexion of the spine, meaning that each vertebra flexes individually as the spine rounds forward. This segmental flexion helps mobilize and stretch the intervertebral discs, promoting flexibility and reducing stiffness, stretching the back muscles. The position of child's pose engages the muscles along the back, including the erector spinal muscles that run parallel to the spine. The stretching of these muscles contributes to increased flexibility and suppleness along the entire spinal column. Release of tension in the lower back. Child's pose is particularly effective in releasing tension in the lower back, making it a popular choice for individuals experiencing discomfort or tightness in that area. The pose encourages the pelvis to tilt backward, creating a natural lengthening and stretch in the lumbar spine. Focus on breath and relaxation. Child's pose is often practiced with an emphasis on deep, rhythmic breathing. The combination of breath awareness and the relaxed position helps activate the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting overall relaxation. 
The relaxation response can help reduce tension held in the muscles surrounding the spine, contributing to improved spinal flexibility. Number 3. Hip Flexor Stretch Child's pose involves sitting back on the heels, which can stretch and open up the hips. This is particularly beneficial for people who spend long periods sitting. While child's pose primarily focuses on stretching the spine and providing relaxation, it also involves a gentle stretch for the hip flexors. Here's how child's pose can contribute to hip flexor stretching. Knee position. In child's pose, the practitioner starts by kneeling on the mat with the big toes touching and the knees spread apart. The position of the knees in child's pose opens up the hip joints and allows for a subtle stretch in the hip flexors. Pelvic tilt. As the practitioner reaches their arms forward and lowers the torso toward the mat, there is a natural posterior pelvic tilt. This tilt of the pelvis stretches the front of the hips, targeting the hip flexors. Extension of the lumbar spine. Child's pose involves a slight extension of the lumbar spine as the torso descends toward the floor. This extension further engages the hip flexors, particularly the iliopsoas muscle group, which runs from the lumbar spine to the femur. Variations for increased stretch. Some practitioners may find that they can deepen the hip flexor stretch in child's pose by adjusting the width of their knees or sitting back toward the heels. Relaxation for the hip flexors. Child's pose is a restful posture, allowing for a passive stretch in the hip flexors as the body relaxes into the pose. The relaxation aspect can be particularly beneficial for individuals who experience tightness or tension in the hip flexors. Combination with other poses. Child's pose is often part of a yoga sequence where it is combined with other poses that specifically target hip flexors such as lunges or low lunge variations. Incorporating a variety of poses can contribute to a comprehensive hip flexor stretching routine. Number four, improved posture. Regular practice of child's pose can contribute to better posture by releasing tension in the back and shoulders, allowing for a more aligned and upright spine. Here's how child's pose can be beneficial for enhancing posture. Spinal alignment. Child's pose involves a forward bend, allowing the spine to lengthen and stretch. This elongation helps in promoting better spinal alignment. By gently rounding the back and lowering the torso toward the floor, the pose counteracts the effects of slouching and helps align the vertebrae, strengthening the core and back muscles. While in child's pose, the muscles along the back, including the erector spinal muscles, are engaged to support the spine. The activation of these muscles contributes to the strengthening of the core and the muscles responsible for maintaining an upright posture. Release of tension in the lower back. Child's pose is effective in releasing tension in the lower back, which is often a key contributor to poor posture. The gentle stretch and relaxation in the lumbar spine can alleviate tightness and discomfort, promoting a more neutral and comfortable lower back position. Opening the chest and shoulders. The position of the arms reaching forward in child's pose opens up the chest and stretches the shoulders. Improved chest and shoulder flexibility can counteract the forward rounding of the shoulders associated with poor posture. Awareness of body positioning. Practicing child's pose encourages mindfulness of body positioning and alignment. By bringing attention to the placement of the hands, the extension of the arms and the lengthening of the spine, individuals can develop an awareness of their posture during the pose and apply similar principles in daily activities. Relaxation response. Child's pose is often practiced with a focus on deep diaphragmatic breathing, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. The relaxation response can help reduce overall tension in the body, allowing for a more relaxed and upright posture. Incorporation into a well-rounded practice. Child's pose is frequently included in yoga sequences that target various aspects of flexibility, strength and balance. When incorporated into a well-rounded yoga practice, child's pose complements other poses that address different muscle groups and contribute to overall postural improvement. 
Number 5. Relaxation and Stress Relief The child's pose is a calming and grounding pose. It helps release tension in the back, neck and shoulders, promoting relaxation and reducing stress. Child's pose is often referred to as a restorative or relaxation pose in yoga. The posture involves sitting back on your heels, extending your arms forward and resting your forehead on the mat. This position allows for a deep release of tension in various areas of the body, contributing to a profound sense of relaxation and stress reduction. Here's how child's pose achieves this. Physical relaxation. The pose encourages a surrendering of the body to the floor, creating a natural release of tension in the back, neck and shoulders. As you settle into the pose, the muscles in these areas can relax, promoting a sense of physical ease. Focused breathing. The child's pose is often accompanied by slow and intentional breathing. Taking deep breaths while in this position helps activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for the rest and digest response. This, in turn, helps counteract the effects of the sympathetic nervous system associated with the body's fight-or-flight response to stress. Mindfulness and Presence the pose encourages a moment of introspection and mindfulness. As you rest your forehead on the mat, you may find it easier to turn your attention inward, letting go of external stresses and bringing your focus to the present moment. Emotional release. Child's pose is sometimes used as a comforting and nurturing posture. It can create a safe space for emotional release, allowing individuals to let go of accumulated stress or tension stored in the body. Calming the mind. The gentle nature of child's pose can have a calming effect on the mind. It provides an opportunity to pause, breathe, and cultivate a sense of inner peace. Here are some instructions on how to perform child's pose. Starting position. Begin by kneeling on the mat with your big toes touching and your knees spread apart. Your hips should be resting on your heels. Alignment of knees and hands. Ensure that your knees are in line with your hips and your hands are placed on the mat in front of you with your palms facing down. Your arms should be extended and your hands should be about shoulder width apart. Forward bend. Inhale deeply and as you exhale start to lower your torso forward, bringing your chest toward the mat. Continue lowering your torso until your forehead rests on the mat. Your arms should be extended straight in front of you position of arms. Your arms can be extended forward or you can bring them alongside your body with your palms facing up. Alternatively, you can choose to bring your arms back alongside your thighs with your palms facing up. Relaxation. Allow your body to relax into the pose. Feel the stretch along your spine and let your hips sink toward your heels. Release any tension in your shoulders, neck and lower back. Breathing. Breathe deeply and slowly in this position. Focus on expanding your rib cage with each inhale and allowing your body to soften with each exhale. Hold the pose. Hold the child's pose for as long as it feels comfortable. You can stay in the pose for a few breaths or extend the duration based on your practice and comfort level. Exiting the pose. To come out of child's pose, gently press your palms into the mat Engage your core muscles and slowly lift your torso back up. Sit back on your heels for a moment before transitioning to the next pose or movement. Tips. Child's pose is a restful pose, so focus on relaxation and allowing your body to surrender to the stretch. If you have knee issues, you can place a blanket or cushion between your hips and heels for added comfort. Experiment with hand placement and arm variations to find the most comfortable position for you. Thank you for watching our video. If you gained value, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.